guys, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make some rabbit trees. So we're going to go downstairs, it's made from two ingredients, which is plain porridge oats and banana, but you can include stuff like carrots and that as well. So yeah, let's <laughs> go and do it. Oh, follow, follow up to make these rabbit trees, sorry I do have a Christmas thing on, so you need to tie your hair back and that, but you will need the equipment you'll need is basically a bowl and a fork, some bananas and some pineapple. So first of all you need to open your bananas. For the starting I'm using three. You can use the mould if you want but you don't have to. So I'm just gonna clean that off and then just pop that in there. So like obviously like if you don't want to use it, you can just cut it in half. This is the bit that you want. But well this one's alright, so I'm just gonna break bits of and bulb and then there's this one. Like this one's not able to be used because it's dead dead so great. I'm just gonna put that in the bin. And then I'm gonna get some more banana. So the banana, the other bananas I've got was the snack size one. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me because I've got round this. This is sketchy for you. So these are the other bananas. So yeah. Apparently, you open it from this side, if you're numb. And then, just put it in, I'm gonna separate it. I don't like banana itself, but... So yeah, just like cut it up or chunk it up. Then what you need to do is get your fork and you just smush it. Smush it up as best you can. It's better if they're a bit old. And it is better to use a potato masher, um, but I was just in the bush. Okay, so I can't really use it. So I'm just pushing the bananas as best I can. And then you just mash it. And these are really like tasty, healthy um, treats. And the rabbits and the dog really love it. I'm oh, sorry about the background music, I'm going to get proper right. Then I'm just going to take this. These porridge balls. And what you do 
is your first okay. Measurement is about a cup, but you can just do it that way. I think it's about a cup per banana. But, you know, you just do it right out, you can do it however you want. In. And obviously, the more soggy it is, the better. I suppose you get more mix out of it. And then you just mix it. Make sure. It's covered. And then uh, go for it, what other things can you add? They're all like stuck together. Normally I would use carrots but it doesn't seem that we have any so I'm going to use kale I'm going to chop up. Wow. Obviously like you don't have to use kale, you can use an, an ingredient that's like completely up to you. So yeah. Just like rip it up. Obviously, like I've cut little bits off, but rip it up. Should be good. Just use one leaf, or you can just have like a handful. Okay, well. and just pop that in. And then I'm just going to like mix it up. Even add because it's such like a super mix. Just to mix. Even stick the curl together. So like this has helped it stick together a bit more butter a bit more. And then once you've mixed it and you're satisfied that if you go like that it will clump together. I'm just going to mix a bit. And you can make, you can either make them into bars or like balls of it. I see either. It's a great idea. But obviously like balls do different. And I have an apron on so I don't get messy. So I'm going to move that to the side. I won't get it for it. Trip. 
Now what you do is you grab like put in a handful and then just put it on the tray. It don't grow already from the claws. And it doesn't matter how big or small they are. And if there's any at the bottom that don't really like stick together, this is a big that don't stick because it's dry mix and um, then I just generally like sprinkle it over top um, which probably isn't ideal but do do you just it's better to do the kill a bit fine And what I'm going to do with the rest is literally because it's all like clumped anyway. So I'm going to actually like squish it together, make it into a giant bag, because then. And then I'm just gonna get my last chunks out. It says easier to do it in bowls, but yeah. So this needs to go in the oven at gas mark six for 25 minutes. To have a gas mark six or four, I'm gonna go with six. Um, and yeah, I've just made like a giant bar. I'm gonna wash my hands on that. So now I'm just going to put them in the oven and wash up.
This is the bag. What you just do is like use a knife. Put your finger. And then here is one. But yeah, just need like, oh no, but yeah.